In this tutorial, we'll learn how to change the form of a relationship between equations, tables, and graphs. Let's start with changing an equation format to a table format. For example, the cost of taking a taxi is a flat rate of $5, and then $2 per kilometer in addition to that. So we start by making an equation from this information. The variable is the number of kilometers traveled. Let's call that D. So our cost, C, is represented by C equals 2D plus 5. So how can we convert this into a table? The variable D is in the first column, and the cost, C, would be in the second column. Let's choose some sample Ds to put into our first column. Sometimes we choose values that we'll commonly encounter, or sometimes we just choose some random numbers. In our case, let's include D equals 0, 10, 20, and 30 kilometers long for our distances. And that should be enough to build a good table. Now, we have to figure out the costs for each of these. We already learned how to evaluate an expression, so we can just push ahead here. Replace the variable with brackets, and in the first row, we put a zero into the brackets. And two times zero is zero, and then add the five, and we have a cost of five dollars. Same thing for the ten. Ten into the brackets, replacing the D, and we have two times ten equals twenty plus five is twenty-five dollars. Same process for the trips of 20 and 30 kilometers. And we now have our table of data. Each row represents a set of data. When D equals 0, C equals 5. That's one set of data, or ordered pair. When D equals 10, C equals 25. That's another set of data, or ordered pair. And two more sets of data, for a total of four ordered pairs. That's it. We have a table. This table might be convenient for posting on a website, letting customers quickly look up their estimated price. For example, if you knew you had to get to a location 20 kilometers away, you could quickly look it up on the table and know that your trip would be about $45, and that would be quite handy. Next, let's convert our relationship from table form to graph form. We do this by showing each set of data or ordered pair on our graph. Our graph will have the first variable, or independent variable, on the horizontal axes, going left and right, and the cost on the vertical axes, going up or down. We're ready to plot our first data set, 0, 5. That is, D equals 0 and C equals 5. As we can see, the first number in the data set is the D, going left or right. Right if it's positive, and left if it's negative, just like a number line. In this case, the D is 0, so we won't go left or right. We're left right in the middle here. Let's look at the second part of our data set, C equals 5. It's just a vertical number line, where positive goes up and negative goes down. And we have a plus 5, so we go up 5. And here's the location of our data set, 0, 5. And we can label it on the graph if we wish, using brackets, to show that it is an ordered pair. The next data set is 10 and 25. Right in the positive direction to 10, and then up, again in the positive direction, to 25. And again, we could label it with brackets. Pause the video and see if you can predict where the third and fourth data sets would end up. The third data set, 2045, would be right 25 and up 45 to end up here. And we can label it. The fourth data set, 3065, would be right 30, and then up 65, and it would end up here. And again, we can label it. Once we have our points on the graph, 
we draw a curve through to represent the trend. In this case, it's a line. As we can see, the graph gives us a nice overview of a relationship. The cost of the taxi trip starts at 5 and then steadily grows as the distance increases. We could read the costs off our graph for any distance, the ones from our table as well as the ones in between those and beyond those. In this tutorial we looked at different ways of visualizing relationships and how to convert between them. We built an equation which is a great way to start and then we used our equation to build a table. Then we used the data sets from our table or ordered pairs to plot points on a graph and show a curve to represent the trend. All are useful tools for understanding and communicating a relationship.